Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. As you can tell by my screensaver back there, my shirt, the tones on my eyeballs, and probably the title of this video, we are playing with some serious fall warm tones today and creating a very, very basic fall makeup look. I'm so excited to be doing fall tutorials. I've been kind of holding out a little bit because I live in North Carolina. It's still 80 degrees here. It does not feel like fall, but I've decided I don't care what the weather's doing. It's about the feeling, you know? We're in the fall spirit here. So without further ado, if you're interested in seeing me create this very easy, but looks like you tried makeup look and my very first fall tutorial, then let's get right into it. I'm just casually having a Moscow Mule by myself. <laughs> I just feel like Moscow Mules, that straw is too long. I feel like it's a fall, fall cocktail. I don't know why. I know I look a little bit spooky because I just have my eyebrows on, but that's because I'm going to start with my eyes today. First things first, I'm going to grab my MAC Paint Pot in the shade Soft Ochre. I love this thing. I haven't used it in a really, really long time, but I think it's time to bust it out. And I'm just going to prime my lids with this. I need a clip or something. I need those like duck bill clips that don't fuck up your hair, but <laughs> this is what I have. So I'm just going to basically get this all over my eyelid and I'm going to actually drag it pretty far across, like for the bridge of my nose and a little bit under my eye as well, wherever I'm gonna place eyeshadow. I really wanna do a tipsy get ready with me. Should I do that? Is that something that people care about? I'm home by myself, so like what else am I gonna do? But at the same time, I don't really wanna come off as like an alcoholic. Alrighty, so going in with the infamous, inf inf infamous, infamous Morphe 350 palette. I chose this one, A, because it just screams fall. Like, look at it. And also I feel like this is a really popular option. It's super affordable and it's very easy to get your hands on. I feel like a lot of people have this palette. I think this is like the first like bold look I'm doing on my channel. I don't really do a ton of like super bold looks on my channel just because they take me such a long time and I feel like nobody wears them. It's not super wearable. So I'm going to go into this like orangey shade right here. I like to start with like my middle tone and I'm taking that on a Morphe E18. It's basically just like a bullet brush and I'm essentially just going to start packing this in my crease. I like to, when I'm doing really bold looks, start with like my mid-tone shade. I'm just really concentrating on getting the pigment laid down and not necessarily like blending or making it look pretty. So now taking a fluffier blending brush, I'm going to go into the shade right here, right above it. And I'm going to use this kind of as my transition shade. And I'm just going to place this right above where I packed down that original orange. So taking another bullet brush, I'm going to go into this brownish red shade right, I guess it would be below because I'm holding this upside down, but right under that orange that we use. And I'm just going to pack this into the crease as well. Now I want to start darkening up that shade. And if you get it on your eyelid, it's okay. Don't be stressed because we're gonna cut the crease. And just continue to build up that color so it's a nice gradient. Next, taking kind of like a flat blending brush, I'm going to go into one of these many dark, dark browns. I'm thinking this one right here. I'm just going to basically add this in the outer corner. But what I wanna do is I wanna go at a diagonal angle just to give it a little bit more shape. So I'm just basically like, again, really focusing. Mm, I don't like that brush. I'm actually gonna take a shader brush just to pack that color on and then we'll blend. I'm gonna just take my Huda Beauty. Um, this is the Overachiever Concealer and I have mine in the shade 04N Meringue. And I'm basically just going to put a little bit of this. I have just like a little plastic lash case that I'm just gonna put it on. And I'm going to use this to cut my crease. 
Now, really quickly before this concealer creases, I'm going to just take this bone color here, this nice cream shade, and I'm just going to set that. I'm gonna start with the middle brown we used, and I'm just going to start blending it over that concealer where we cut the crease. Now I'm going to go into that orange and just do kind of the usual gradient effect. And then last but not least, I'm actually going to take this yellow shade here. Instead of the orange that I used before, I wanna use the yellow and then I'm just going to blend that orange out. That's literally fall on my eyeball. Now for eyeliner, I'm going to take my Anastasia Waterproof Cream Color, and this is in the shade Jet, and I'm just gonna do a really thin line. When I get to the outer corner, I'm gonna make it a little bit thicker though. So that way my eye still, although I have like a very rounded cut crease, it still kind of draws it up and gives that like cat eye effect a little bit. All right, you guys, you know the drill. I'm going to hop off camera and finish off my second eye so that way I can save you the boredom and I will be right back to finish up our base. So for lashes, I'm gonna go in with unicorn lashes and these are in the style Lemon Meringue. They're big, dramatic, fluttery. I really love these lashes because I feel like even though they're like so huge and dramatic, they still let the eye makeup like shine through kind of. So now we are ready to move on to our complexion because I look super scary and we need to get the show on the road. So for primer today, I'm going to be taking my Touch and Soul No Pore Boom Primer. So for foundation today, I'm gonna to be using my Huda Beauty. This is the, what is this called? Faux Filter High Coverage Cream Foundation. I want something super, super full coverage today because I have mm -hmm, and all of this situation going on. This is the most painful breakout I have experienced in probably like the last five years. It hurts so bad. So we need to cover that up and I didn't feel like color correcting and all of that madness. Um, so this is in the shade Butter Pecan 330N. Um, so I'm just going to apply this with a beauty blender and oh my god, I haven't used this foundation in so long. And then I'm just going to use a brush around my eyebrows and stuff just to be extra careful. Finish a step, take a drink. Now I'm just going to go in with my concealer that I was using before. It's the same Huda Beauty one. And to blend all that out, I'm using this IT Cosmetics. I don't know what this brush is, but I'm obsessed with it. It's so good for like detail blending, like especially when I have my eyebrows on already. It really just helps me get like in that space and not screw up all my eye makeup. To set my under eyes and my T-zone, I'm going in with my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish powder and this is in the shade one and I'm just taking that on a real techniques brush and I'm just going to dust this like I said in my t-zone basically anywhere that I highlighted just because this is a lighter shade of the powder and this also makes my makeup last a really long time I really really love this powder I just realized my fun little like screensaver for fall my leaves just went out so I had to get up and turn it back on so Sorry, I didn't even notice. Um, but to set my entire face, I'm gonna be going in with the Laura Mercier. This is the loose translucent setting powder, but this is the glow one. This is not the usual matte one. I'm just going to lightly dust this all over my face. And this is a Luxie 640 brush. I love this for, I think it's supposed to be for highlighting, but it's huge. So I like this for just like, lightly dusting product under my face. For my bronzer today, I'm going in with my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. Listen, I know I use this in every single video, but I just can't get over it. It's, it's, it's so good. Like I've been using this for a year now and I'm obsessed with it and I think I will be probably for my entire life. Um, and this one is in the shade Sunset Bronzer. It's one of the more red toned ones. And I'm just going to go ahead and bronze up my face. And look at that, 
it's just so good. I'm gonna add a little bit of contour with this as well. Um, just taking a NARS Eda brush and I'm just gonna kind of carve out my cheekbones a little bit more. And then I'm also just going to use this to contour my nose and my lips. So for my blush today, I'm gonna go in with this Anastasia Blush Trio, and this is in the shade Peachy Love. Again, I have not used this in forever. I feel like today I'm playing with all the products that I used to love, but just haven't touched in a while. So I'm going to mix, ah, fuck it. Let's just mix like all three together. Mmm, yes. Mmm, love it. It's so good. All right, y'all, I'm just gonna go ahead and finish up my lower lash line. Um, I'm gonna take this like flat definer brush and I'm gonna go in with this orange color here in the corner. I love orange, especially with like brown eyes. I think it's so freaking pretty. And then with the same definer brush, I'm going to go into this chocolatey brown color and I'm going to hug this a little closer to my waterline. And then taking this yellowy color, I'm going to blend everything out. Just make sure everything looks really nice and seamless. For my waterline, I'm actually going to take this nude eyeliner. This is just is from Rimmel. I think it's literally in the shade Nude. And I'm just going to throw this in my waterline just to kind of brighten everything up a little bit. And I'm actually going to put on a healthy coat of this just so that the bottom lashes kind of match up and balance out the top lashes. And to set my entire face, I'm gonna go in with the Cover FX Illuminating Setting Spray. Make sure if you have this, you shake it really, really well. I don't know if you can hear, but there's actually a little ball in there. So you really wanna because that's what's gonna kind of stir up all the glitter. If not, it's just gonna kind of camel spit shimmer all over your face and that's not what you want. To highlight my face today, I'm gonna go in with my MAC Hyper Real Glow and this one is in the shade, oh shoot, I don't even know. Um, it doesn't even say, it's like, the middle one, I think. Um, and I'm gonna take this shade on the end here. It literally says nothing, it's so stupid. Um, but I think it's like the rose gold one. There's three different ones and this is like the rose gold one. Um, but I'm gonna take the more gold color on the end here and I'm just going to highlight with that. And then I'm also going to place a tiny bit of this under the brow bone. Last but not least, I'm going to line my lips with this NYX lip pencil in New Truffle. You already know, this is the only lip pencil I've been using lately. For my lip color today, I'm going to be taking Anastasia Starfish liquid lipstick. And I think I want to do a gloss. I'm gonna take this Dose of Colors. Um, I think this was the I Love Sarah E collab. Um, and this is in the shade Barely There. Just to kind of lighten. Alrighty, you guys, this is the final makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed getting ready with me today and just kind of hanging out, playing with some fun makeup. I love fall makeup so much. It's my favorite. I love warm tones and just like sultry, smoky, deep. Mm, don't even get me started. I love how this came out. It just really, really gets me in the spirit for leaves to start changing colors and for it to just be sweater and boot weather outside. I'm so excited, even though it's still like 80 degrees here. It's fine. But yeah, this was really, really fun for me to create for you guys. I have so many more fall tutorials and product reviews coming. So make sure that you have your post notifications turned on for my channel. That way you are notified every single time I upload a video. You won't want to miss them. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up down below and subscribe if you have not already. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.